Hi Aquarius, so today we are going to be doing your love reading. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Knight of Swords in reverse, dwindling out, dwindling out. Hmm. This might tie in Four of Swords in reverse to the reading I just did a few days ago. There's a message that keeps coming up here about... Spirit, confirm this for me. Sheltered and protected. Someone is sheltered and protected. Again, something that you don't know is happening or you don't know is coming. I'm being shown someone who is um, waiting to receive some type of information or news. I don't know if this is you that's hiding. I keep getting someone's hiding here. Someone's hiding beneath. They're n not being revealed. They're kind of hiding a lot of... Who is this person that's hiding and why is it coming up? I am hearing love triangle. So this might be for someone here who's in a love triangle. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is, seems to be a message for someone out there. This is going to be about a love connection. And specifically, if you are in a love triangle situation. Um, I kind of feel like for you, like the vision I had seen of you kind of being in a free flowing energy. Some of you are in that space right now and you're kind of attracting something or someone into your life. But it does feel like someone's in hiding here. There's someone connected to you, someone who you... I don't know if you're thinking about them or they're just coming up as part of your energy, but someone is um, maybe kind of, like I said, hiding behind the curtain here. Why are they hiding, Spirit? What, is, what else do we need to know about this? Yeah, the Hermit. This is somebody who is not wanting to shoot aimlessly, I'm hearing. This is someone who, um, if it's not a love triangle, I mean, if for some of you, yes, it's coming up as a love triangle situation, and we'll kind of get more into it, but um, I'm also getting that this is somebody who doesn't want to just shoot aimlessly, or they're choosing to kind of be from a distance here and eye you from afar, and um, this person is thinking about how to best kind of approach the situation. If this is somebody who ghosted you recently or someone who you have not been in contact with, this person is, um, again, kind of wondering how to best approach you or how to best, like, deal with the situation. But they could be hiding because of something that they did. Maybe they're embarrassed about it or they're hiding because that they have something else going on. Yeah, three of cups reverse. I do feel like that's the message coming up today. Um... Developing feelings, I'm hearing. What's that, Spirit? Can we confirm who's developing feelings and about what? Temperance. Yeah, there's a new opportunity with the temperance. Somebody here, um, so there's a feeling of, of a connection with the temperance card that would offer someone a lot of balance and healing. It would offer somebody a lot of, um, like, I don't know what the word is, opportunity or success somehow. So why are you bringing this up then, Spirit? Why are you bringing this story up? Okay, because Spirit's saying that... Yeah, very similar message that came out the other day. Spirit's saying to be prepared for something. Um, they want you to be prepared for something is why they're bringing it up. King of Wands could be a fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. I'm hearing it's going to move very fast, okay? So... This could be two different groups of you. This could be somebody you know, 
or this could be somebody new and this person when you meet them it's going to develop very fast or you're going to have strong feelings for this person I'm hearing developing feelings so they could either currently be developing feelings for you depending on how this connects with you or when you do meet this person it's going to feel like um, something about it feels very soothing or it feels like for one group of you this is somebody new and the reason spirit's bringing it up today is for you to be prepared for it for you to know kind of what's going on because i feel there may be a situation here that this person is either not ready to tell you about when they meet you or um if this is somebody you already know about they could be in a third party right now they could be with somebody else and they almost like are hiding from you they're hiding from the truth they're hiding from because of something here and um they could either be looking at you currently from afar and kind of already having feelings for you or when they do come in towards you they're going to have feelings for you and they're going to feel like the opportunity with you is going to give them some type of new life spirit tell me a little bit more about why this person's hiding and what this is over here For some of you, this person feels inadequate. Okay, yeah, Knight of Wands reversed. This person, yeah, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, the world reversed. This person feels inadequate, and that's one reason that they're hiding from you, or that they, uh, or if you haven't met this person, it's gonna really depend. It could be a crush for some of you. Um, just take it how it's gonna resonate with you, whoever this is for. But someone here is hiding because they feel inadequate, because they may feel like they're not good enough for this connection. Or if it's a crush, this person could also feel like they are uh, same type of thing. Maybe they just don't feel that there. It's almost like this person is not ready or they've been asking themselves if they're ready to open their heart or if they're ready to. What are they asking if they're ready for a spirit? Yeah, OK, so commitment. Yeah, loyalty. So this person could be someone also who could either be currently not to totally committed to whoever they're with, it's more like a casual thing, or they feel like the two of you, it would be a serious thing, or maybe you, if you've known them already, then you could have had before a serious thing, or maybe you were trying to have that. This person's questioning if they're ready for commitment or loyalty. They're questioning if they're ready for something deeper right now. And for whatever reason, they're coming up in your energy to hide here, but they're not really hiding fully. I'm getting also, if you do, if someone did walk away from you recently, they really haven't gone off the radar entirely. They are keeping tabs on you or finding a way to do so. Um, for some of you, this person did something specific or said something specific or something happened in their current like relationship that they have not told you about again here. And they feel like in order for me, this is probably for those of you who know this person, they kind of feel like it's going to take a lot of courage for them to make this move with the King of Wands and to bring you closure, clarity uh, with the temperance here. Tell me, Spirit, about the Page of Swords. What's going on with this Page of Swords? How is this person keeping tabs? Why are they in the Page of Swords energy? Because they feel like the time right now is not right to come towards you. Same kind of message here. They feel like the time is not right to come towards you. So they're sort of like in this Page energy where they want to, they don't want you to get out of their sight entirely, but they also don't feel, yeah, the Hermit, the Seven of Wands reversed. They kind of feel like whatever they're currently involved in either has their attention or they just feel like in general as a person, as an individual, like this hermit here, almost like doesn't want to be shown, like they're afraid to be seen for who they are or they're afraid that they're going to mess things up. Um, something like that's coming up here too. But this person, yeah. What is the Three of Cups here for, Spirit? I think it's about reconciling with you. I'm um, being shown somebody walking forward and then turning around and then walking and then turning around. So it's like they have a question of like if this would be something that that would work out. Um, tell me more spirit about the three of cups reversed. I 
I'm also getting, yeah, this person feels like they're at a battle right now. This is definitely a reading for someone who has an ex or someone who you're interested in. Um, I feel like it's coming up because this person's at a battle, like they're, they can choose this, they can choose that, but they're kind of on a fence right now. And I feel for a lot of you, this person feels that they have not been able to truly kind of come, like they haven't been able to, like they're trying to make a decision here about, again, if they want to say something to you. I'm hearing the song Senorita. I don't know who sings it. Okay, so Spirit, tell me a little bit more then about the King of Wands and Temperance. What exactly is this going to be? And what's kind of the... What else, Spirit, about this? For some of you, this person dreams about you or they feel like... I don't know if they're into spirituality or they f view you this way. It's almost like they view you as an angel. Um, for some, I'm picking up star seeds here too. They could either know about that or they could feel like you're, you are that star. Seven of Wands reversed. They feel like it's been a missed opportunity. They... What is this spirit? It's the star and the seven of wands reversed. Yeah, they feel trapped. Like I'm being shown somebody in a room, like, and they can't get out of the room. Um, it's kind of an interesting energy because this person feels like they are. How do I word that? Like they don't know what to do with this energy. They don't know what to do with this experience of either meeting you or they don't know what to do with this experience of thinking about you. So they like, what do, what do I do about it? Do I say something? Um, they're trying to make sense of it. Why are they feeling trapped, spirit? Because this person has emotional unavailability here. Um, Nine of Cups and the High Priestess, they may they, they may have something that, again, like I said before, this person's been kind of emotionally unavailable in the past or currently, if you have not had a history with this person, they could be very interested in you, but they also feel like this is, a, this is an opportunity for me to level up, um, but I'm not sure if I'm ready for this, because I feel like with the star, again, something about you feels very like healing or therapeutic or like a golden opportunity somehow. And they either may not be into spirituality for some, or they just don't know kind of like what this is again here. So what's holding them back or trapping them is that they, um, I forgot what I said. Let's see. What is, let's see, Spirit, what is this Nine of Cups, High Priestess? What is this? The apple of my eye. <laughs> yeah, this person feels very intrigued by you. They feel very, like, kind of, like, fantasizing about you. So I don't know who this is for whoever this message is for, but, you know, um, someone feels like they are very intrigued by you right now. Okay, so if you have someone that you feel is watching you, not in like a bad way, but just in a way where they're admiring you and they're really drawn to you, then this is your message that this person does feel captivated by you. Um, it's like you're kind of a mystery to this person. You're kind of an enigma here. You could be somebody who is not like, they don't know what to think about you. They don't know what's, again, you could be very spiritual. I don't even, some for some of you, this is someone who you haven't either been with for a very long time, or this is only in the like dream state, or this is someone who you have not met yet, because something about this feels very like airy and intangible almost, like it feels like 
someone here with the king of tell me a little bit more about the tell me a little bit more spirit about the king of wands specifically who is this character and why is he coming through today trying to catch your attention i'm hearing so yeah this person will either try to catch your attention soon or they're currently trying to catch your attention could be through small things that they do or someone who's reaching out to you someone who's trying to ca catch your attention for some of you they feel like you are someone who's not attainable maybe you're not available or they just something again about them not knowing who you are or what's going on with you so they don't know what to make of that story So what about you, the viewer? What do you need to understand about this then? Spirit, can you tell me about the viewer specifically? What do they need to know about this? Five of Wands Reverse. Yeah, I was being shown somebody in like a cage here. Um, and what is this spirit? Tell me a little bit more about this Five of Wands for the viewer, please. Well, I'm getting, first of all, some of you could have a raven or a crow that, that you hear, or if there's a, so if you see a raven, specifically a raven, I feel, it's like it's trying to send you a message or trying to warn you about something. Um, clarify this, please, spirit. For the viewer, for the viewer. Three of Wands reversed. Radio silence. Spirit, clarify a little bit more about this. What about the viewer? What do they need to know? Six of Wands. Um... I feel like you with the six of wands, you are seem to be in a good place or you can kind of have whatever you want. Like, yeah, choices. But I do feel for some of you, Spirit is saying to make sure that you kind of make the right choice when it comes to this situation because why is that, Spirit? Because there's a thin line between it's like there's a thin line when it comes to this connection if that makes sense like like i said this could be somebody who something about it is it's not like it's all bad but something about it here is going to require discernment here because i feel there's a thin line either you can drop into territory that you don't want to go into or there's circumstances here to consider before you jump into this. I'm hearing I can feel it coming in the air. So maybe you already feel this. Tell me, Spirit, if there's anything else that the viewer needs to know about this or in terms of advice. Yeah, go with the flow, let things happen. It's like, I feel the advice for you is that whatever this is that's coming in is at least going to give you an opportunity with the temperance here to kind of experience the, the uh, I guess like experience the energy of this experience to kind of let things flow, to let things kind of happen. Something with the King of Wands here again, I feel is going to bring you into 
it, it's like, I don't know how to word this. It's like, it's going to bring you something. It's going to bring you news. It's going to bring you inspiration. It's going to bring you passion. It's going to bring you an opportunity. But it's like, I think there's going to be like a, again, a thin line here. You can choose this or you can choose that. But they kind of want to say the advice for you is to let things just naturally flow. Don't try to figure it out too soon or try to figure out what this is or where it's going or what's going to happen. It's like I kind of feel like this opportunity is coming in for a reason for a lot of you or for whoever this is for specifically. Um, why are they being asked to go with the flow exactly, Spirit? Because I feel like you're in a good place. Again, I feel like you are... Something is very serendipitous about this. Okay, let go. It's like I think that for some this is a new person. I don't know. I don't know if it's a new person or someone else. I feel like it could be both or it could be, yeah, it could even be two people. But um, there's something about you kind of being able to show who you are or feel kind of like almost like, let's say, for example, someone does come back or someone, even if it's a new person, someone's attracted to you. It almost like it gives you confirmation of like your own growth, if that makes sense. Like I can see now that I have grown a lot or I'm, I feel more attractive today than I did a couple of years ago something like that's going to confirm for you that you have come very far i'm hearing inner child so you may have gone through inner child healing or this will help you to release like your inner child and they kind of want you to have a like a childlike perspective about this not to get hurt or anything like that but just to kind of enjoy the journey is there any other advice for the viewer Yes, enlightenment, pursue spiritual growth. I'm hearing let your walls down. Yeah, they definitely want you to let your walls down. Okay, I want to get one more confirmation for the outcome here. And we have self-reliance. Don't be afraid to fly solo. So it's like I feel you're letting, spirit wants you the advice for you is to let your walls down to have... Um, Oh, and I want to say, I forgot to mention this. Thank you so much to Lisa, who sent this deck to me. I appreciate you so much. I meant to say it in the beginning and then I totally forgot. But this is a beautiful deck and I love it for sending it on my um, Amazon wish list. Thank you if you're watching this. I don't know if you are, but thank you. Um, so yeah, they want you to set uh, to let your walls down with the enlightenment here. And don't be afraid to try new things. And that's why I'm kind of getting it could be a new person. Or it could be someone who is just going to give you like a new perspective. Maybe they're different or something about it's different. And um, yeah. So before we go, let me just see what is the outcome of this King of Wands. One second, buddy. What is the outcome of this King of Wands? Spirit, can you tell us what is the outcome or the um, kind of what's going to happen here after this happens or when this happens can we confirm again it's going to give you it's going to give you a sense of some type of liberation i'm also being shown a lot of gold and energy again like abundance here we have the sun in reverse I'm hearing this is a specific message for someone. If you've been questioning who someone is or what's going on in their life, you will hear it from the source, uh, which will give you more clarity. You know, you're going to hear it directly and not question. It's like with the Queen of Swords here, you're going to have, again, more clarity that you've been seeking about this person. Like, is this person really for me? Is this person really been uh, maybe thinking about me? Is what I heard about them true or what I think about them true? Something is kind of going to give you a better sense of enlightenment and direction when you... Is this person going to contact you, Spirit? Is this person going to contact the viewer? No, right now they're serving as like a muse, as an inspiration for you somehow, or they're, they're seeing you as a muse. So for some of you, they're not, they're not going to contact you immediately. It's not going to be so much of a contact right now. It's more of like the presence of this King of Wands is here, if that makes sense. Like you could feel the presence of this person if you're intuitively inclined, or you could just like this person's in your periphery, like they're in your energy. 
um, I feel like this person is somebody who is either, again, A, either entering your life soon to give you a new, like, like, um, sorry, my dog is sneezing, <laughs> to give you a new, like, like direction or confidence or to give something to you that's going to help you along your path. Um, and then for others of you, this person is someone who is admiring you from afar because you've grown a lot since you last saw them but they again like we had kind of seen this person is questioning if they're ready for commitment maybe and i think that it's going to give you something new to think about again about like how far you've come what's this king of wands going to do They've completed some some type of cycle. They have completed something. They've understood something. For those of you who know who this is, or even if you don't, even if it's a new person, they're entering your life now because they have understood something more clearly. The epiphany was at the bottom. Yeah, they've understood something more clearly. They've had an epiphany. And the reason that they're coming back or coming into your life is to kind of collide with you, for you both to learn something more and for you both to kind of like, you know... Let me see, what is the outcome here of this situation, Spirit? What's going to happen with this King of Wands and you? I'm hearing Razor, Sharp, Intuition, Page of Cups, I'm sorry, Page of Wands. I'm hearing finishing what you've started, hanged man. So again, take that how it's going to resonate with you. Some of you are going to be finishing a cycle with this person that you never had the chance to complete. And that could just mean talking things through. That could mean just having a good time. Or that could mean something more. It just feels like they want you again to go with the flow. Um, on the other hand, if this is also someone new, the the with the page of wands here, the outcome is going to be that it's going to once again kind of give you um, like... A sense of adventure or excitement or you know opportunity so it's a positive thing so any final message here before we go spirit for this reading I'm hearing that obstacles have been lifted Saturn restrictions have been lifted Anything else, Spirit, with the Page of Wands? Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it there. My dog is bothering me because he wants to go out. But that's what I'm getting for you. Um, I'm going to leave it here. So let me know if this resonates with you. Let me know how, how it fits. And thanks so much for tuning in and have a great rest of the evening. Take care.